Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Um, final video on period products, <laughs> for, for lack of a better title. Um, today we're gonna talk about menstrual cups. Um, does anybody use menstrual cups? If you do and you love them, please give us a shout out. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, this is primarily what I use um, for my, my periods now and have for several years, um, probably closer to six or seven years. And I highly, highly recommend them. It's a way to have a waste-free period, way more sustainable um, when it comes to the things I used to throw away. Uh, but um, also, I think a major perk is the uh, financial savings. So the fact that I could have one menstrual cup that I use probably 95% of the time that I have my period each month um, and have not had to purchase um, you know, pads or tampons or other things as a significant savings. Um, when you are looking for a menstrual cup, sometimes they'll come in usually like two different sizes. Um, sometimes it's when before you maybe had children or not. Um, and so if you haven't or you're younger, you may want a smaller size like this, or they do come in bigger sizes for those of you that have probably had, you know, children's children naturally. You're looking for almost all of them say medical grade silicone, and that's what you want because this will be resting inside of you. Um, the way that it's inserted and the way at least I do it is I kind of squish it and then I fold it up and then I hold it here and then I insert it kind of like this. And then, um, when I, when I'm putting it inside, I, I open up and kind of do just the slightest little twist and you will hear and even feel it's opening up. And that's when, you know, you got a good seal and that's it. Um, and like I said, I go pretty much all day without any issue. Um, I will say that it took me probably a good three full period cycles, like three months of trying it, getting used to it, figuring out you know, which angle worked for me. And like, I was a little nervous at first and would, oh, check it too much. Uh, but in general now, unless I happen to like go to the restroom and wipe and see some blood, I just assume I'm fine and go about my day. Um, when it is time to either empty it or if you just like want to remove it, um, I go to the restroom like I'm going and then just relax my muscles and then every single one will have some sort of little tab underneath the cup where you relax and that will come down enough for you to pull it out. Um, if this is still sealed, like se sealed on your body, um, I kind of just push the bottom a little bit and that will break the seal and it's so much easier to empty out. You empty it right in the toilet, which is nice. Um, and then, um, just kind of grossness, we're gonna go there. You know, if I need to, I take a piece of toilet paper to try to make sure there's nothing dripping. And then I will say from a convenience standpoint, if you can pick the bathroom, hopefully you have that's closer to the sink. Um, I will like reach over to my sink, rinse it out, and then, you know, reapply it back in if, um, if I need it. Um, if you don't, it can be kind of just annoying. <laughs> so if I'm in public for some reason and, and I have to empty it and then put it back in, I'm just kind of rocking some gross fingers. I take, um, you know, toilet, wipe it off, um, before I flush it and then obviously go out and then wash my hands really good. Um, but it's one of those things where like I used to think it was gross and weird and like I was uncomfortable and then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Why? Why? This is my body. Like, oh, all. <laughs> more than half of our population has periods at some time or the other. Why am I worried about it? I had, I had two kids. <laughs> there was much grosser things. Um, and what's the big deal? And it's more about sustainability, saving money, and ease. I was just floored at how much easier it was to say have a full day out and about and not have to worry about trying to find a bathroom every two seconds or making sure I had enough tampons and things. This was just was quite a lifesaver. Um, and like I said, I am blessed to have pretty average periods. Um, as I've hit 40, things get weird. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but the way that I store it in general, though, is almost all of them will come in some sort of bag. Um, I take a travel and a Norwex and viral cloth and it's just like my menstrual cup one and Then if I have to set it on the counter or something I've got that underneath because that grosses me out in general And then I just wrap it up in here and then I'll put it in whatever traveling case usually comes with the item um, With the with the menstrual cup um, when it comes to taking care of it Usually they say a mild soap and water is all you really need um, but if, on, on occasion, I try to do several, several times a year is I'll just boil it for about two minutes and then, um, you know, make like clean it, 
boil it for two minutes and then it's then I feel like it's you know really clean. I do know people that soak theirs, especially if theirs is a lighter color to get rid of any um, discoloration with peroxide. Just make sure you rinse that really well and you should be good to go. Um, I have one at home and I did finally put one in my travel stuff um, just because I don't wanna buy, buy anything out when I'm on vacation if I don't have to. And so that's menstrual cups for you. You can order them online, guys. You can order the, you can just even walk into the store nowadays and usually they're with the pads and periods and other things, including the flex, flex disc. Um, but yeah, if you have, please, please, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, for me, this was a game changer. Um, I'm certainly glad that my friend talked me into it years ago. So anyway, <laughs> keep doing that. <laughs> let me know if you have any questions and feel free to share if you have any tips or tricks, grab that travel and viral cloth and use it to your benefit too. All right, take care. Bye.